Thank you. Class of 2021, it's a pleasure to be with you today. It's a pleasure to be indoors with you today. I do want to really thank especially uh, our graduation coordinator, Tawana Wilson, our fantastic facilities and tech teams for the really quick transition. It's just another last minute switch in a year full of last minute switches. And once again, uh, this class and the parents and families, the faculty and staff have shown their superb character in making that switch happen. So class of 2021, it's time to talk about your mission. Like all big institutions, Bellarmine has a mission. Our mission is that as a Catholic school in the Jesuit tradition of education, through a dedication to academic excellence, development of the whole person, we graduate young men and women of competence, compassion, and conscience committed to servant leadership. And today, as I look out over you graduates, I'm proud to say that once again, we know we have fulfilled our mission. Together, we and you have been tested in the past two years as no other Bellarmine class ever before in the long, proud history of this school and you have triumphed. You have shown commitment and resilience to persevere, and your accomplishments, in spite of these challenges of this extraordinary year, are a testament to your character, and we're very, very proud of you. So now your high school journey is over, and we'll celebrate the success with you and send you on your way while we go on and turn our attention to your classmates who will follow in your footsteps and follow your example. And so now it's time for you to begin your mission. And my hope is that we have given you the tools to accomplish it. You hear much at this time of year about your future, college, work, the promises, dreams, excitements you have to look forward to. But I want for a moment to challenge you also to look further out beyond these next couple years to the true mission that lies ahead for you. In the future that you will inherit and build you will be faced with difficult challenges, indeed battlegrounds. The advent of things like artificial intelligence, genetic engineering, euthanasia, the rise of secularism, these are issues where human technical progress has the potential to far outrun our spiritual and philosophical growth. And it could fundamentally alter the very idea of what it means to be human before we are even aware it is happening to us. You must be ready to lead others in preparing for and addressing these challenges. In such times, our biggest battles will not be over issues or policies, but over principles. Will we, will we be governed by emotion or reason or both? Will we move out of fear or out of hope, out of irrational or rational response, out of a secular worldview or a spiritual one? It's true our society is diverse and fractured and there are deep injustices in our world that we are called to address. And these injustices often have deep historical roots that must be acknowledged. But as Jesuit educated leaders, we know, you know, that these must be met in ways that focus not on divisive ideologies that separate us or seek to categorize us, but on a spirit of reconciliation a spirit of mutual understanding and love. The greatest danger our society faces today is that these struggles will divide us and threaten the unity and community that is the true source of our greatest strength and achievement. You must have faith in yourselves. Whatever political parties, faith traditions, nationalities, we all have at heart common goals. We all want to reduce poverty. We all want to correct injustice. We all want to protect our environment. We differ, perhaps, on how we think we should do this, but we do not differ on what we are trying to do. To succeed in any of these, we have to define ourselves not by our differences, but by our commonalities, our shared humanity, our unique identity, each and every one of us, regardless of race, faith, political ideology, or social class. We are all created and loved children of God. Be on your guard against these ideologies from either side. 
that tell you to define others, to preach dis division, and set you against one another. You alone determine what your relationships are and will be with each and every person you meet. You do this on your own with the tools we have given you, knowing each person on their own merits, listening to their story, their authentic experience, and understanding what it's telling you and how you are called to respond. This is the only way you truly respect their dignity and your own. When you see another person, don't just see a person with all the labels and categories that society tells you to put on them. You see an immortal being, a soul on a great journey, and your task is to know how you can help that person on that journey, and in so discover how they can help you. Never compromise when you're right, but be willing to be wrong. Forgive, have empathy, compassion, understanding, listen more than you speak, foster the habits we have ingrained in you of Ignatian examine, reflection, the commitment to see God in all things and all people. In a world that's defined by conflict, I challenge you to be agents of peace. In a world defined by the commodification of human life, I challenge you to be one who values people. In a world defined by pain, be a person who brings comfort and healing. In a world of division, you must bring unity. In a world that defines itself by the pursuit of self, you must be a man or woman for others. And I know this is who you are. In a world defined by men, you must be a child of God. This is your mission, and it is a sacred mission. And I don't mean this to sound daunting, because in truth, we have great and wonderful hope for the future, and it is embodied in each and every one of you, class of 2021. You're part of making that beautiful future happen. And seeing your success here at Bellarmine, I know that the future of our community will be in good hands when you go forth to make it. Go forth with our blessing to live it for one another wherever your path takes you. Once a lion, always a lion. You will always be welcome here on the hill, but your work is out there. And I challenge you to go forth and take this mission proudly with all of the honor and character that you have shown in your four years here.